Welcome everyone to MTG Deck Masters and today's video is another combo tutorial with the deck Legacy Manaless Dredge. So this is a combo deck that is based around the dredge mechanic which means you need to fill up your graveyard to do a bunch of shenanigans including a turn to kill. Uh, I've made a video on that uh, just a while ago. I'll include it because you'll definitely want to know how this deck works before watching this video. I also have a deck deck which could be a good thing to watch before going into this video. So a lot of people may say, okay, Manaless Dredge doesn't play any mana, doesn't play any lands, but it is 100% centered around the dredge mechanic, so I could just play Grav Digger's Cage on turn 1 and it's never gonna win. False. This deck can win on turn 3 without even having to play a dredge card. So today's combo is going to ba be based around uh, that particular line of play and uh, although it is not likely it is possible and if ever you're playing a game um, and you have this particular draw which is very unlikely uh, you want to be able to know that you can win with it because this deck usually gets a lot of attention during tournaments and you don't want to be humiliated for the rest of your life because you missed that epic line of play so now let's draw our seven cards and we'll pretend that we are on the draw for this game, since most of the time the opponent is going to choose to be on the play game 1, and if ever we win the die roll, we are going to choose to be on the draw, because we want to draw an extra card on turn 1 in order to discard a card on our cleanup phase as soon as turn 1, because we do not play any mana, do not play any lands, so we don't have any cards that can directly discard cards. So let's draw our 7 cards. So our first 7 cards are... 4 copies of Hollow One, which is 5 generic mana for a 4-4 artifact creature, and it costs 2 less to cast for each card we have cycled or discarded this turn. It also has cycling for 2 mana. We have 2 copies of Street Wraith, which is 5 mana for a 3-4 with Swamp Walk, and we can cycle it by paying 2 life. And last but not least, we have 1 copy of Phantasmagorian, which is a 5 generic 2 black for 6-6, when you play Phantasmagorian, any player may discard 3 cards. If a player does, you counter Phantasmagorian. But none of that matters. The only thing we care about with this card is discard 3 cards, return Phantasmagorian from your graveyard to your hand. So okay, that is it for our opening hand. So now we'll let the opponent begin. They will do nothing relevant, of course, because we're playing Legacy. They're gonna do nothing on turn 1. Now let's draw our card. Ecorid. So this is 3 generic and 1 black for a 3-1 with, with haste. At the beginning of the end step, sacrifice Ecorid. It also has, at the beginning of your upkeep, if Ecorid is in your graveyard, you may exile a black creature card other than Ecorid from your graveyard. If you do, you return it to the battlefield. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to cycle Street Rate. And we won't count our life total in this tutorial because it doesn't really matter. Um, we win so fast that the opponent usually doesn't have the time to deal enough damage to kill us before we can do our combo or before they draw a hate card that destroys us. So we'll cycle this and draw Eco Raid again. So we have two copies of that. Then we'll cycle Street Wraith again to draw another card. And it will be Nether Shadow, which is two black mana for a 1-1. One, one. And let's I'll just summarize this because it has a wall of text since it's a revised card. Uh, it's basically a 1-1 one, one with haste. And if it... On the, in the, if at the beginning of there are, sorry, I can't talk. If at the beginning of our upkeep, there are three creatures above the Nether Shadow, which means after it in our graveyard, we get to return it for free. So that's why we, you can't rearrange your graveyard in Legacy, uh, because of cards like this. Um, these cards are not legal in Modern, so you don't have to worry about that if you're playing Modern. So now we have eight cards in our hand. And Hollow Ones cost 1 to cast because we have only cycled 2 cards so far this turn. We are very sad. Or are we? Let's go into our end step. And now let's go to our cleanup. We'll discard Phantasmagorian. So we have a Phantasmagorian in the graveyard. So um, now we will pass the turn to the opponent. They will do nothing, of course, because we're playing Legacy. They're not going to do anything on turn 2. Then we'll go to our draw step. We'll draw a card. Balustrade Spy. And now we will activate Phantasmagorian by discarding three cards. And we will discard both our Ecorids and the Nether Shadow. And Phantasmagorian will go back into our hand. And wait, we have discarded three cards this turn to the Phantasmagorian, so our Hollow Ones are now free to play. 
So we'll dump our four copies of Hollow One onto the battlefield. So we have 16 power in play on turn two. Um, however, we cannot attack with them this turn, so we're gonna settle for turn three kill. So uh, the only thing we have left to do this turn is to pass. Then we'll go into our next turn, which is turn three. And we'll go into our upkeep. Nether Shadow doesn't have three creatures above it, so it's gonna stay in the graveyard. However, Ecorids are going to trigger, and we're going to exile Street Wraith to bring back the first Ecorid. First Ecorid, 3 1 with haste, and we'll discard uh, exile the second Street Wraith to put the second Ecorid into play. So now we have 16 power plus 3, 19 plus 3, 22 power into play, including the four hollow ones uh, that do not have summoning sickness. So we'll simply draw our card for the turn, doesn't matter at all, and we'll attack the opponent for 22. That's it! So we won on turn 3 without dredging any any card in a manaless dredge deck in Legacy. How epic is that? So um, I know this combo can be very hard to pull off and it has a 0.0001% chance, but that's not the point of this video. The point of this video is not to tell you Oh, buy this deck because you're going to be able to win on turn 3 without a dredger. That's not the point. The point is, some things can happen. And it's fascinating sometimes to realize that there are some very unusual lines of play. With some very unusual draws that can result in the most epic games you'll ever see in your life, honestly. And if you play with this deck for 5 years, maybe you'll pull it off one time. So, this is definitely not something you should expect uh, going into... Uh, this deck, but it's still a very fun deck to play. There are many lines of play People think it's just a linear deck that wins on turn two or loses to graveyard hate But there there are many more lines of play with this deck Especially when you go into the sideboard you can have some free spells that can deal with hate cards and uh, You can have some very epic matchups where you win with cards like I don't know bridge from below or you have hollow ones and I know hollow ones are not the a mainstay in this deck but I prefer to pay, uh, play 4 copies because, uh, as you've seen, it's an alternate win condition. And even if you don't have 4 in your opening hand and you can just dump 1 on turn 2, uh, it's still putting the opponent under a clock and helps you win under cards like Graph Digger's Cage or other hate cards like Nile Spellbound, Tormod Script, Relic of Progenitus. <clears throat> Excuse me. So we can activate your Phantasmagorian and play the Hollow One directly. It's just a good threat. So, I hope you enjoyed the video. Feel free to tell me what, what is your wildest uh, combo win if you ever played a combo deck. And uh, if you're going to build this deck because of this video. Uh, I'll link the deck tech and the turn 2 kill tutorial on the combo if you want to check those out. I hope you enjoyed the video for today and we'll see you next time.